In this video, I'll be talking about the transpiration cohesion and tension model in plants. So we know that water is needed for plant life and growth. We know that water moves up through the xylem against gravity, but how can water move against gravity? It's all thanks to the unique properties of water. The whole process is explained by the transpiration cohesion and tension model. So what is this model? Well, it's a model that incorporates water's properties which make the upward movement of water possible. It's important to know that this model is a process. Every step and property is important to the process. Now this picture right here is an overview of everything that happens. So water goes in through the roots, up the xylem as you can see here and it will evaporate through transpiration through the underside of the leaf through the stomas right here and this whole process will begin again and again and again. Now let's look at each step individually. The first step is transpiration. Transpiration is the evaporation of water through the stomata which are located on the underside of each leaf. This step is crucial. Without it this whole process wouldn't, wouldn't happen is actually a property of water that is essential as well. Each water molecule is polar, meaning that each molecule is slightly negatively charged near the oxygen and slightly positively charged near the hydrogen. So the negative end makes a hydrogen bond with the positively charged end of another molecule. Think of these molecules as being sticky in this way. Quick side note, the hydrogen bond isn't actually a bond, it's a really strong attraction. So this bond can be broken easily with temperature, which is important when we talk about evaporation and what allows transpiration to happen. This is why we get bubble -like. is why we get bubble-like shapes to water droplets. The water molecules don't spread out in an even layer on this surface. They are as close to each other as possible, holding hands tightly. This stickiness is also responsible for the next property. Property is tension. Because each molecule sticks to its neighbors, there will be pulling on each bond when any single molecule of water moves. But thanks to the strength of the hydrogen bond, it doesn't break. Now, you can see that between each of these molecules, there is a hydrogen bond. And these red ones are the ones that have tension between them because they're pulled alongside this outer layer and their bonds are constantly being stretched and pulled and pushed because every single molecule of water constantly moves. This is why water bugs and paper clips don't fall through into the water. The bonds between the water molecules on the surface here are being stretched, but they aren't being stretched too much that they break and that's why the bug and the paper clip float dry. It's the same case here. The shark hasn't gone through the surface of the water because those water molecules have a lot of tension between those bonds, but those bonds have not broken yet. So you can see along this whole surface that their bonds are still intact and each molecule is making this really nice smooth surface. Now this slide it just summarizes everything that I'm going to say, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide where there are pictures and explain everything there. I'm going to use this picture again to clarify and put together everything that we've gone over. So the first step is right here in the leaf, and that is transpiration. A water molecule evaporates through a stomata, breaking its hydrogen bond with the water molecule still inside the leaf. And thanks to the cohesion principle, the two molecules are connected by a strong hydrogen bond, so as it leaves, it pulls that water molecule to follow it up and replace it. It's like a chain of molecules being pulled out of the leaf, and this chain extends all the way up and down the xylem, as you can see here. Thanks to this hydrogen bonding right here, there is tension between any two water molecules that move. These bonds don't want to be stretched. They want to relax, so the two water molecules will try to come closer to each other. And since there's no other way but up, since there is space constantly being freed by evaporation of water molecules, the chain is pulled up without breaking any bonds. Then as new molecules evaporate up here, the cycle starts all over again and the water just keeps getting pushed up the xylem and keeps evaporating through transpiration processes 
and the water just keeps getting pulled up and around and up and around again and again and again.